If you feel like you need more strength in terms of climbing, have you ever tried board climbing? Board climbing can easily be summarized into overhang climbing on a 2D board with emphasis on strong, big moves. Typically speaking, the board angles 30 to 55 degrees. This board I have here is 40 degrees overhung, which I think is the ideal angle for board climbing. Benefits. Board climbing is excellent for building finger strength while climbing. It's a great way to train for outdoor bouldering. When you first start off board climbing, you will realize it is rather difficult. The steep angle is way steeper than you had initially thought. The holes that feel good while your feet were planted now feel awful when your feet are off the ground. Even a jug on an overhang is difficult to hold because your feet cannot give you any direct vertical assistance. But stick with it by board climbing using the big holes. There's no need to hop on the smallest crimps first. Remember, you have to first allow your body to adapt to this extreme angle first before you start grabbing the smaller, harder hold. To implement board climbing into your training regimen, do it when you are feeling fresh and strong. Since board climbing is very taxing on your body, aim for two sessions a week when you first start off. And your session length should last until you feel you're out of your top end strength. As you do more board climbing, you can obviously up the parameters on everything. Now, there are many boards out there, so which one should you go with? The answer is whichever one you want. They all pretty much accomplish the same goals. My board is used as a spray wall, and it does that very well. If you are using, say, a moon board or any board with a built-in app, which is all the boards, I would say to make a goal of doing all the V3 benchmark problems. Once you finish all the benchmark V3 problems, there will be no doubt that you are indeed a better climber. A caveat I would like to add is just because you are great at board climbing doesn't mean you'll be great at all the other types of climbing. You still ensure train slab, vert, and cave climbing as well to be a rounded climber. Go board climb, and I'll see you next time, partner. Peace.